Hello everyone, welcome back to a new video on dentistry and more. In this video, I will be explaining you about the effectiveness of our lockdown. We started on March 24th and it's still going on and it's going to end by March, May 31st. So uh, all these data which I am going to show you, it's taken from uh, ICMR data or other official health statistics. So all these are very valid data. So let's see the total confirmed cases in India. Okay, so that is, it was uh, 500 on the day before uh, our first lockdown, that is March 24, that was around 500 cases. And it has increased to a value of 1 lakh over a period of almost uh, around 45-50 days. So now it is uh, almost 1 lakh 20, 20 thousand uh, today that is uh, May 24th. So we can see a increasing uh, the number of cases by 200 times over this uh, lockdown period. So the increase was uh, not very huge when we compare the number of cases with the other countries like Italy and USA. So we take these countries as these were the two main countries hit by COVID-19 so badly. So if we start by first week that is 50 cases reported on 10th March on all countries. Uh, it was on 22nd Feb in Italy and 25th Feb in USA. So after 10th week the number of cases in India was 74,000 that is around 75,000 but in USA it was almost 10 lakh and in Italy it was 2 lakh. <coughs> so why was it uh, why was it happened? Well, what was the uh, reason for this drastic uh, difference in the number of cases? That was the lockdown effect. So in India, the lockdown started when the cases were around 500, but in USA it was 50,000, and in Italy it was 20,000 or 21,000. So this was the turning point in number of cases. So India could have done it very early. The lockdown started at very early. But in USA it started only at 50,000 so the total number has uh, become 10 lakh and Italy uh, it has uh, become 2 lakh and the lockdown started when the cases were 20, 21 or 22,000. So the proportional uh, increase you can see. So this was the part where India had an upper hand compared to the other countries. So since uh, the first case was reported in India in Kerala, the southern state, and later in Feb, end or March, uh, beginning the cases slowly started appearing. But whereas it's uh, it has become a pandemic in all uh, pandemic and it has reported in most of the countries. So India had a notion that it is going to become a very serious issue in the future. So India started the lockdown very early when 500 cases were there. So that was a big impact in reducing the number of cases and the death. So let's see the number of deaths happened in these countries. So if you take the first week as index, that is number of deaths were 5. In the first week that is 20th March, India reported just 5 deaths. And in US it was 2nd March and 24th Feb in Italy. So after 9th week, the number of deaths in Italy were around 23,000 whereas in USA it was 55,000 but in India it was just 2,800 so that was the difference it was also due to the early starting of our lockdown and we have to think that the India is a country with 1.3 billion population around 130 crores of population with lots of slums and highly density that is population density is very huge in some states so all this considering this is a big impact of lockdown compared to these countries where the total population will be one half or one uh, third of the Indian population 
so all we are saying that the number of tests uh, being done is very low uh, compared to other countries that is true uh, now India is uh, testing 1 lakh per day but it was around 3000 or 4000 at the beginning around the March beginning period but now it has uh, increased around uh, 30 times we are testing a more number of cases uh, now uh, that's why that's one of the reason the cases are very highly reporting in nowadays because it is most of the cases will be in uh, asymptomatic states and more the more number of um, tests we do and we get more number of cases so now India is testing uh, 1 lakh per day that becomes uh, one among the three uh, testing ratio in the country in the world so that's why India is reporting lots of cases but the problem is the doubling rate the doubling time is the lowest in India doubling time is nothing but the number the days taken to double the cases if it was 5000 the number of days taken to it take to become 10,000 so more the doubling time it means that the rate is very low lesser the doubling time the progression is very fast so we can see that the progression is very fast the doubling time is all oh, it is like 40 days in other UK and the United States but in India it is just 13 or 14 days and the total confirmed cases that is 81 in May 25th and it's around 1000 in April 14th and 2300 in May 3rd and it is around 5000 so per day the cases are on a increasing rate so there is no bending the curve bending means the number of cases reported will be lesser than the previous day so there is no bending the curve happened in India there is a increase or there is increase in the cases day by day so during the lockdown 4.0 there is around 5000 6000 cases per day so what if we say the flattening of the curve so the flattening of the curve happened uh, maybe in the southern state Kerala they had literally bent the curve and flattened the curve before the migrants started to enter the state they had uh, literally flattened the curve there were cases there were no cases uh, in few days and they had mm, bent the curve very drastically but what happened was when the migrants started from the hotspot areas in and around the country and outside the country the cases are started to increase so in India there is no flattening of the curve and there's no bending of the curve it is going on a ascending order so what is the situation of India right now so in most of the countries the peak has started to descend in uh, USA or Italy or Spain in Germany all the countries the curve has become on a descending phase that is the number of cases are there but still it is going downwards it slowly slowly go downwards but in India it is on an ascending limb for a couple of weeks we may face or we may see a lot of increasing in the cases and flattening and uh, or the bending of the curve may take time in India so we'll come to the point was the lockdown was effective or not to an extent it was effective because we started very early so we could reduce the number of cases and uh, number of deaths very drastically if it was very late like uh, April mid or April first week the number of cases and number of deaths would have been so much more so if you ask me was the lockdown was a solution for this COVID-19 it was not at all a solution for COVID-19 it was just a strategy to help the people and the health system to get prepared to a situation where we should live with the COVID cases because it is almost impractical to remove all the cases in near, in near future so it might take uh, six to eight months or any year so we should live uh, in a situation where the patients are around so the sanitization and social distancing should be the key 
uh, in the future time so what we can do is we need to have a exit plan from the lockdown we cannot extend our lockdown for another five to six months uh, till the last covid case is getting cured so it's not practically possible in the present scenario so all uh, we can do is to have a exit plan from the covid so we need to have a exit plan so that the people can leave at least uh, with a job or to have uh, something in hands to uh, meet their ends so the backup plan or the exit plan is very important in the next phase of this uh, pandemic so that is what the real strategy rather than the lockdown so if you ask lockdown was effective yes it was effective we need to have exit plan and if a plan of extending lockdown or the lockdown 5.0 without a proper exit plan would be disastrous. Thank you.